What's going on guys? Today I will be showing you how to do cloning a player in a light motion. So first what you want to do is click on the plus on the bottom right and then go to vector drawing. Now all you want to do is just trace it from the bottom to the top. Once you're in an advanced stage of your masking, click on the shape then go to blending and opacity and then lower it down to about 30 or 20 percent. This is how I prefer to do it because then I can see how it masks. So here all I did is just figure out what segment of the clip I want to use this on. You can see I showed which buttons to press to, to cut the shape. Now click on the shape then go to move and transform and move your clip if you want to move it each time press a keyframe and I showed what everything on the side does. Now that you're finished with that go ahead and duplicate the layer with the buttons I showed you there. Make sure to cut it of course like where the shape where you want it to be basically. Now duplicate the shape another two times and then do the same thing for the new clip. Now you want to long press that side thing, not the eye, make sure not the eye because that'll make it invisible. Long press the shape, then press the group mask in the arrow I just showed. Now do that the same thing for the two other segments. Now when you're done with that, click on one of the bottom two groups and put a keyframe at the start at the end. I didn't do that because I forgot. Now you put a keyframe in the middle and then you move it to the side. Now do the same thing for the other clip and then move it to the side also. Once you're done with that, copy my graphs. Here I showed which presets I used for them. And now you're basically done. Just go ahead and export the video and you'll see how it turned out. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all soon.